February 27, 2021. Police body cam footage shows a traffic stop on a highway in Montgomery County, Texas. Hey, how's it going? As this 2019 Tesla Model X driving in autopilot mode strikes their vehicles at 54 miles per hour. Injuring five officers and hospitalizing the subject of the original traffic stop. Uh, here, roll, roll, roll up, roll up. One, one, two, three. The crash is one of 16 between Teslas and emergency vehicles being investigated by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, to determine whether Tesla's autopilot has contributed to the accidents. The journal obtained exclusive dash cam footage and partial data logs from the Tesla in the Texas crash. We annotated the footage for clarity. These materials show the car's autopilot system failed to recognize the stopped emergency vehicles in time. And though its driver monitoring system appears to have worked as designed, it was not enough to sideline the impaired driver and prevent the collision. We also obtained eight crash reports included in the NHTSA investigation. In at least six, the incidents occurred when emergency vehicle lights were flashing. NHTSA declined to comment on an ongoing investigation, and Tesla did not respond to requests for comment. The driver in the Texas crash begins his 45-minute trip just before 12.30 a.m. He is intoxicated, according to police reports. The police investigation notes several instances when he swerves in his lane. About four minutes into his drive, the logs show he sets the car on autopilot at a speed of 64 miles per hour. Tesla's autopilot is a system that partially automates many driving tasks on highways, including steering, braking, and lane changes. Drivers using autopilot are supposed to remain engaged so they can take control of the car at any time. Federal investigators have said Tesla's marketing, including the name autopilot, exaggerates its capabilities and encourages drivers to misuse the technology. The autopilot system for a 2019 Model X, the model in the Texas crash, judged whether the driver was alert based on whether their hands were on the wheel. If the system did not detect hands on the wheel, the driver received an alert. If the driver didn't respond, autopilot would disengage. The driver in the Texas crash receives one of these alerts less than two minutes after engaging autopilot, according to the car's logs, and he complies. He receives two more in the next minute and complies. In fact, he receives and complies with 150 of these alerts over the course of this 45-minute drive. By the design of Tesla's driver monitoring system, the driver was paying enough attention to operate the vehicle in autopilot. This year and model of Tesla uses a combination of radar and camera technology to recognize objects in all directions. Autonomous vehicle experts say the radar can easily recognize moving vehicles, but that it has difficulty distinguishing stationary obstacles, leaving it mainly up to the cameras to detect them. Around 15 minutes into the drive, the logs indicate the technology is working. It recognizes a vehicle about 120 yards ahead. Then again, about 35 minutes into the drive, the Tesla sees a vehicle as it merges 70 yards ahead and tracks it as it drives off. About 45 minutes in, the Tesla approaches emergency vehicles on the side of the road. Autopilot is not designed to identify them as obstacles because they're not in the lane but an attentive driver would typically know to slow down or change lanes. Around the same time, the driver receives his 150th warning to keep his hands on the wheel. He complies, but it's not enough to get him to respond to the stopped vehicles. Seconds later, other police cars are visibly blocking the lane, but the logs show no sign that the Tesla sees them. Experts in autonomous vehicle safety who reviewed the crash footage say there's a difference between the way the car's camera sees an ordinary vehicle and an emergency vehicle. The police car's flashing lights created a hazy image that the car's software likely did not recognize as a stopped vehicle. The logs indicate that the car finally recognized something in its path just 2.5 seconds and 37 yards before the crash. Autopilot attempts to slow the car and ultimately disengages but at 54 miles per hour, it is too late. The five officers injured in the crash are suing Tesla, claiming that the autopilot feature was responsible for the accident. An attorney for the officers declined to comment. 
Tesla denies the lawsuit's allegations and claims the fault lies with the driver. The driver did not respond to attempts to contact him. In 2021, after repeated recommendations from federal investigators, Tesla began using internal cameras to monitor driver attentiveness. But safety experts continue to find flaws in its design, and drivers still find ways to fool the system. The same year, Tesla also issued a software update that was designed to improve Autopilot's ability to detect emergency vehicles. Though one of the crashes NHTSA is investigating occurred after these updates. The government has now expanded its investigation beyond crashes with emergency vehicles and is investigating the overall effectiveness of Tesla's autopilot system. They could ask the company to recall the cars if they find the technology flawed. 